talk from the Alan Watts radio series. Here's Alan Watts. The physical world is transient. It's impermanent. It falls apart. And bodies that were once strong, smooth, and lovely in youth begin to wither and become corrupt and turn at last into skeletons. To the degree that you identify yourself with the body and with the pleasures of the body, to that degree you are simply going to be something that is sucked away in the course of transiency. So therefore, hold yourself aloof. Keep your mind like a mirror, pure and clean, free from dust, free from flaws, free from stain. And just reflect everything that goes on, but don't be attached. You are a rational soul in charge of an animal body. If you belong to the old-fashioned school, you beat it into submission. As St. Paul said, I beat my body into submission. Really? Is that good? Uh, yeah. There goes your BFF. Fuck you, man. Hey. Is still a good time? Yes. I'm concerned about a student. Patterson. Yeah, I know that. I came across some things you wrote that have me worried. He's struggling to come to terms with his sexuality. It's obvious from what he's writing. I see firsthand how the kids are teasing him. Well, he's a good kid on paper. He's on the honor roll. He's got great grades. This isn't about his grades. You need to read some of these. Look, I want to get Phil an appointment to see a school psychologist. I want him in front of someone who has some experience. Please, just make the call. Janus, the Roman god of beginnings and endings. He is two-faced. One face sees the past, and the other face sees the future. I want you to write about an important event that marked a transition in your life. You'll need to demonstrate how it was influenced by your past and how it's affected your future. OK, you have 40 minutes. You may begin. That. My uncle. Shit. You don't have to whisper, he's pretty out of it. So what are we doing here?
Which one is he? That guy. He looks so young there. What do you think? I don't know, I... I mean, I would say I guess it depends on the guy. You can't really choose who you fall in love with, you know? It kind of just happens. I mean, I've never been in love, but... Writing a dissertation? I just want to make it good. So have you given any thought to attending that group we talked about? Uh, yeah. Oh, well. All right. I'm well, meeting tonight at 6 if you're free. I think you'd really enjoy it. OK. All right. Wrap up and go home. OK. <laughs> We should give Adam a ride. Mom, no. Well, why not? Please, we're not friends. Just let's go. Come on. Hi, Adam. How's it Would going? Would you like a ride? Um, my brother's coming soon. Say hello. Okay, well, take care of yourself. Let me just go to the park, okay? Mike lives there, you know? Mike who? Mom's brother. Can you talk to him? I think we should move on with the conversation. He cannot take care of himself. We cannot take care of him. Your mother and I discussed this. He was right. as its vitality. Vitality is change. Life is death. It is always falling apart. What the fuck? Get off. 
get off. What the fuck do you mean get off? When it comes to love, sexuality, timing is of the essence. That's right, bitch. Don't you keep your head still? I don't want to mess it up. But that's not something that one should look upon with regret. It only is something regrettable if you didn't know how to take it when it was timely. Hey, Jeff, can you fucking knock? Because it is, after all, through sexuality that we have our most fundamental relationship to nature. And it is the point at which we can become most attached. There is no way of making a hedge grow like pruning it. Why are you wearing your lipstick? It wasn't me. Come here, I'm not Sexuality is something which you cannot get rid of. Do what you may. Life is sexual. Fucking pissing me off. He's always staring at me. Are you friends with him? You really think I'm friends with him? All right. Welcome to another talk from the Alan Watts radio series, Here's Alan Watts. We get a hang-up on all the various things that we're told as we grow up by our parents, our aunts and uncles, our teachers, and above all, by our peer group. A lot of the current quest for identity among younger people is a search for an acceptable image. What role can I play? And the first thing that everybody wants to tell us is the difference between ourselves and the rest of the world.
Should we get his toothpaste and toothbrush? His cell phone should be charged, too. Uh, so I'm Phil, um, and uh, this guy at school that I really liked, um, I guess was like afraid of, you know, people finding out or something, um, and uh, so he started picking on me. Uh, it got pretty bad, and. Um, Three years ago, I just felt like everything was, like nothing was there. Um, like there's no hope at all. So I tried to kill myself. Um, but I'm climbing back up from that hole and it's good to know that I'm not alone. I can never get to look at me, real me. It's always behind. It's always hidden. And so if you are perfectly honest about loving yourself and you don't pull any punches, you don't pretend that you are anything other than exactly what you are, if you can do that, you have no further problems.